Hello again, this is Nilnar, and we're once again in Until Dawn. When we last left off, we kind of met a lot of the cast, but we're still meeting some new ones on this episode. So, we'll continue on where we left off with Josh, Anna, and Best Brother. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could have done with some bellboys, but, uh, hey. Can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's just really weird being back here. There's this doctor watching him. Yo, 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 we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always used to. Yeah, he's a brother of the Damn two it. that didn't make thing. it in the first episode. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hmm. Like I said, it's still hey, Ash. suspicious. Are they even supposed to be here? So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? Like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. <laughs> I don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's, like, weird? And what if she, she might, like, Want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. <laughs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. Hmm. Supposed to be an X there. There's no X there. That's not good. Yeah. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. Uh, it's just a well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. more attention in climbing class <laughs> you mean Jim yeah you know with the climbing up the rope whoa 
Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. <laughs> Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, <laughs> Pilgrim. Okay. Hold on a second. I guess there's a, a door there. I was like, how in the world do you get that in in here? But I'm working fit through the garage door, so. So what have we here? Really? Okay. There's the stairs or ladder. I hope that doesn't go anywhere. The door. Hold on a second, we gotta be getting somewhere. Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Hey, we still gotta find the deodorant in here somewhere. Make a flamethrower type thing. that one. The arsonist is out again.
That's interesting. We got Ricky. Those are a little wonky there. That's one heck of a bathtub. It's almost a jacuzzi style. Wow, I got, I got the heart racing. That thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. <laughs> oh, it was just a cute little baby wolverine. Baby. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. Right, there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Okay, if we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? 
My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, yep. do I'd... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. <sighs> then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. I'm gonna need these. Porn star? I paid to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> wow. So we got to find the generator. Where's the generator at? I seem to be right around here, but it isn't, so I guess we'll go this way. That's gonna run into it farther down the road here. Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Before we go too far there. There's not a generator around here somewhere. I see lights along the path. Guess we'll just go down the path and private property, Washington Estate. Wolves howling around here. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Disagree. Uh, yeah, she's a ham. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being down. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't wanna... Yeah. How is it my fault? She doesn't understand what beat it, you skank means. <laughs> yeah. Like a crack a dictionary much, biatch? There's a generator. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You 
are a wizard. Uh oh. I saw somebody in the window. Kazam! The gates now open. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. <laughs> From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault. They ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Oh, when you're that mean and cruel, yeah. This is thing happening out in the woods, that. You hear that? Yep. I heard something. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find a. Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, <laughs> you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. All right, try it again. It's super heavy. Maybe you already loosened it a bit. Hey, Michael, I'm like pretty ripped at all, but I don't think I can move it. Any other bright ideas? All right, Jess, I'm gonna drop the light down, okay? Look alive. What? Look al all right, just a heads up. You get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Something. A bat? 
All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Michael, bats have rabies. Well, it's not going to bite you. Okay, that's what bats do. They bite me. <laughs> there was somebody up there still. Interesting. Well, Nelly, this place is giving me the willies, and not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? Let's we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. That's why you don't go walking Close down in coal mines. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. When Josh said cabin, I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Eh, I'm take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Uh, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. I... Uh, maybe. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna relook at that. Hey, I didn't see anything. the deer.
answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you got a lot of love to give. <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> Nice little creek. <sighs> God damn it, Josh. Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Oh. Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Jess! Uh oh. Debbie! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. Hey. And that, folks, is where we're going to leave this episode. Looks like we've got a hot water heater to take care of. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like button. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we will see you on the next one.